Hey you guys, it's Peter. And I'm back. Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere. I'm YouTube famous now. Available in 2025 on iTunes. Um, so today I wanted to talk about one of my favorite social media moguls. Yes, Christian Burns, AKA Extra Burns. <gasps> so if you don't know what you don't know is a lot. Christian Burns is, I think, 19 years old, and he is a Instagram model of the world who is very, very famous. He tells everybody how famous he is. He went to VidCon and was asked not to come inside by security and then ended up getting into a rather, I don't know, tumultuous back and, back and forth exchange with this security guard um, and called him a peasant and made fun of his clothes and told him to kill himself. It was rather embarrassing. If you wanna see the whole breakdown of all of that, I did another video about that. I will link it below. I will also link it at the end and you guys can go check that out. Um, Akeem Star, actually on Drama Alert, did an interview with him and then did an exchange back and forth where he allowed him to apologize to the security guard, of which it was a very, mm, you know like when somebody apologizes to you and they say like, I'm really sorry that you're upset about how I treated you and you took it that way, but they don't like really mean it. That's the kind of apology it was, right? And then he retracted his statement again on Instagram. He now has a new Instagram. And so he retracted that. And this has just kind of been going on and on. And one of the things I absolutely love about this story is I love the underdog, okay? Always, 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 I love the underdog. And um, Akeem like tried to get the security guard who's like such a cool, just laid back guy to like get tons of Twitter follow or uh, Instagram followers, like more than this Christian Burns kid, right? And I think the last time I looked, he had something like 90 or 100,000 like followers on Instagram. It's pretty crazy. So anyway, the last 24 hours have been, or actually the last, let's say two hours have been rather hot, rather hot in the world of Christian extra burns. <laughs> and I know people are gonna be like, why are you dragging this kid? Okay, listen, all right? To state facts and to give an opinion based on those facts is not dragging somebody, okay? It's just my opinion. And like I've told Karina Kaboom millions of times, opinions are like assholes, Karina. Everybody has one. And if you have a lot, you're probably an asshole. So anyway, um, I all of a sudden, my DMs, people are always trying to get up in my DMs, listen. My DM is not for everyone, okay? But people were up in my DMs and they were like, you've got to talk about what's going on with Christian Burns. And apparently what has happened is he is claiming, and I do not know if this is true. So if this is true, I feel really bad for his family and for him. Um, it just, the, the tweets following it seem very interesting to me. Um, I don't think anybody deserves any kind of toxicity in their life or any kind of bullying or hatred directed towards them. So this is kind of just me discussing the whole situation overall. But he is uh, stating that his brother and sister were supposedly taken out of the house at the hands of like his haters with machine guns or something like that. Here, I will go through here and I will read to you what happens, okay? So if you go through his um, Twitter, which is extra bur at Extra Burns, um, let's see, 14 hours ago, he uh, put up that he was broadcasting live on you now. 13 hours ago, he said, thanks for watching and blah, blah, blah. And then um, three hours ago, he just tweeted out, hi. Um, two hours ago, he tweeted out, was just informed that my little brother and sister was carried out of my house with machine guns because of you evil people on here. Now that's a pretty serious allegation. Like if that really is happening, like I don't, like I've had my mother passed away. I wasn't like all up on social media. I was pretty consumed with my mother's passing at that time. I've had some rather tragic events in my life. I've had, you know, people that have died suddenly, whether they've killed themselves or in accidents. And like, my focus is not on social media. My focus is really on like what's going on at that moment. I've even had a family member of mine that was into a hostage situation at one point. And I can tell you that my focus again was not on social media, calling anybody, any of that kind of stuff. My focus was really on the event at hand, if that makes sense. So, okay, so this, he states that, and then he right after that says, that's just so sad and upsetting. Why do this to my family, okay? And then somebody tweets at him and says, you did it to yourself. And he says in all caps, would you know what that means when it's in all caps? That means I'm shouting at you, Papa. I'm shouting. Okay, he says in all caps. Me to myself? 
How is putting my family's life in danger justified? Of which I will say, I do not think that anybody's actions deserve to have their family receive the consequences of that. That being said, I'm starting to kind of wonder where the parents of Christian Burns are, okay? Like, at 19 years old, yes, you are legally adult, but when you're acting like you're 14 years old, I don't know where his parents are, but my father at that point would have pulled in the reins and said, listen, um, you need to start acting like an adult. You're acting like a child. I'm tired of it. You're dragging our name through the mud. It's disrespectful. Pull yourself together, okay? So I don't know where these parents are. Um, and then, then somebody else... Uh, tweets out at him sounds like fake news to be honest stop looking for attention and he says why would i fucking lie about something like this stop and then somebody else says to him you told a security guard to kill yourself many times that's just uh karma and he says so my family deserves to have their life in jeopardy tell me to kill myself and burn and make fun of me every day not my family you have to remember this is all going on while this emergency situation regarding his brother and sister are happening okay oh a side note um yesterday i noticed that Keemstar from Drama Alert, um, he retweeted this phone call between somebody and Christian Burns where this guy put like Christian Burns on the spot and was like, everything that you do is a lie. And he was said, and Christian Burns validated and said, do you take my Twitter seriously? Do you not realize that I am setting this up for something that I'm going to do down the road to get bigger, basically, is what he's saying. So he validates that all of this is just for fame and attention. Now, this is where I have a huge issue with this, okay? If his family is really in danger, that's a very, very scary thing. I don't wish that on anyone, okay? That's why I, like, never have called in sick to work because I believe a little bit in the spiritual world. I don't ever put things out there that I don't want coming true to me, okay? So, like, I would never call in sick and say it's because of a flat tire because if you do that, you know what's going to happen, baby? You're going to get a flat tire, okay? Okay. So I don't know why you would put this stuff out about your family if it's not true. I hope to God that it is not true for him and his family. But if it is, maybe stay off Twitter. And where are the police, if this is true actually, and getting involved and in saying, we don't want to maybe like bring attention to this right now until we know what's going on, okay? So then somebody else says, bah ha ha ha, you told the guy to kill yourself. You did this to your own family. And he said, the fact that you think this is funny is scary. And I agree if it's true. Okay, but here's the problem, Christian, okay? In my opinion, the problem is, is that nobody believes the thing that comes out of your mouth anymore because you make apologies and you retract them, you act out, and then you, like, there's been so, like, you've assaulted people, you've done all this kind of stuff, and then you say, oh, it's all fun and games, or oh, I'm sorry. You are literally the living example of the boy who cried wolf at this point, okay? So nobody is going to believe anything that comes out of your mouth, and this whole idea of these younger generation YouTubers, I mean, we listen, listen, if Christian Burns is an example of what our future looks like, we are fucked, okay? But like, you know, if all of this is just for attention and fame, that's rather sad to me that you think so lowly of yourself that the best that you can do is to post a picture on Instagram and stir up some toxic story about yourself and go off on people and verbally and physically assault people if that's what's happened, um, allegedly, um, to get fame. Like, don't, aren't you worth more than that as a human being? I would hope so. I would hope that you care more about yourself, that maybe you say to yourself, you know what? I think that I need to take like 30 days, 60 days off of social media. I need to collect myself. I need to really think about what my gig is. And then I need to like, you know, think maybe do I want to do this? Do I want to come back in a different way? Do I want to make one of these apology videos, of which there are thousands of right now. I'm so tired of those apology videos. And then people act out the very next day. It's like, why would you even make an apology if you're just going to act out as an asshole? What you've just shown us is the apology meant nothing. And now we know you're really an asshole is what those apology videos make. So I'm not even, I don't even want to respond to those apology videos anymore. Because then I just look like an asshole because I had an opinion about it. So then he goes on and he says, oh, somebody says, to fix the problem, you got to do something for the security guard. Actions mean more than words. Anyone can say what people want to hear. All caps again. I'm not going to scream. I don't need to get my blood pressure high. But the security guard, you think I give a fuck? I've apologized. He still has a job. I'm not kissing anybody's ass. He talks shit about me. Right there. You just showed yourself, Christian, okay? Oh, wait, wait, wait. But this is where the tragedy, this is within the same hour that he has announced the tragedy, Okay. And then it goes on, and then somebody says, if y'all believe that this, I swear to God, LMAO, and then he, the, and he goes, it's called swatting, it's a real thing. Which it is, and it's very, very scary if it's really, really going on. Same out. 
And then he goes on here and he says, I seriously just don't want to live anymore. That's how I feel and I will continue to feel I hate myself. And then he says, people say I'm just asking for attention, but I don't know if this will continue to just be contemplation anymore. I'm miserable. Okay, now, this is where, for me, we have crossed over into dangerous, dangerous territory, okay? Christian Burns has now said that he doesn't really care about himself anymore. And that is, it's a safety issue for him, okay? And it's also crossed over into a safety issue for other people because he has a lot of young people that are looking up to him that may feel similar ways and may be ready to give up because they are looking at him as a role model, as an example, as a leader on social media, as he claims to be. And now they're seeing, well, if Christian gives up, why I should give up too. There's no point, right? And this is what I have said from the very beginning when I talk about the Tana Mojos and all of these people, okay? Is that you have a responsibility, and I know people disagree with me when I say this on here, but I'm sorry, I agree with, I believe this, okay, is that as a role model to younger people, as if he is, but if you're going to do anything, maybe try to save a life, you know, you have a responsibility to pull his card. Now, if he really does feel this way, where is his family? He is crying out on social media saying he doesn't want to be here anymore, and he's just completely continuing to tweet away, and nobody's saying, hey, Christian, we're really concerned about you. You're making some pretty serious allegations about yourself. Like, this is very, very scary, okay? I, I've had friends that have taken their own lives. It is no joke. When somebody tells me that, I do not take it as a joke. I, listen, I tell people this all the time. I'm not the one you want to make that statement to because I will call 911. It's very, very scary to me. If I knew where this Christian Burns lived and whatever, I probably would call 911 or his parents. Where are his parents in this situation? Like, it is so terrifying to me. Okay, so then he says, oh, then somebody tweets to him. He's not asking. He likes this. He's never been more popular. He can't get views on his own. He said, I had way more views, likes, and most importantly, positive attention before any of this happened. Social media used to be an outlet for me to express myself and help others. Now the negative flame in myself just continues to ignite, he says. And then somebody says, well, personally, I don't know entirely, but from the looks of it, everyone that has been hating on you wants a meetup with you in that guard. That guard won't respond to me. I've tried my best to repair things. Well, you had an opportunity and you fucked it up, okay? So you can't continue to apologize to people 15 times. Your actions speak louder than words, okay? Now, Christian, I don't know if you haven't learned that by 19. That's something that we kind of learn, like, as we get on the bus for first grade. You know, like, if you steal cookies from the cookie jar and your mom says to you, Christian, did you steal cookies from the cookie jar? And you go, yeah, or you get caught and you apologize for it and you apologize for it and you apologize for it and there's no consequences. That's the parent's responsibility, by the way. Sooner or later, you got to realize I, if I want people to trust me, I probably shouldn't steal cookies from the cookie jar. I don't know why you haven't learned that, but whatever. Um, to my supporters, I'll be okay. I just need to find new outlets to control my anger, my pain, and better ways to handle tough situations. Thank you. And he puts a red heart. So I guess we don't need to worry about um, Christian anymore. He figured that all out in the matter of an hour. That's pretty, you know, that's pretty, uh, hey, that's a lot to figure out in an hour. And then somebody responded, he retweeted, he's not at all looking for attention. He, usually when people get bad news, they share it with people. He isn't seeking attention. He wants help. I would agree with that statement. Christian Burns wants and needs help. So where are his parents? Okay, and then this is awesome. Are you ready for this? 52 minutes ago. This is within the two hours that he has reported toxicity situations, a very violent, scary situation with his family. He's talked about dangerous situations with himself, how he's overcome it, and that, I mean, this is a lot in one hour, okay? And then he tweets out, Chipotle sounds good right now. Well, I mean, come on, burrito bowls for all of us. I mean, I just can't with this kid, okay? And then he said, and then somebody says, spicy, and then he goes, I love spicy foods. What the fuck is going on here, okay? And then somebody tweets out to him, Netta, I love you. Love you more, with a little emoji. And then um, somebody says, I regret turning your tweet notifications on. Me too. And he says, I would too. Don't attack me. Don't attack me. I'm the victim. Remember that one? That was last week. And Christian Burns said he was a victim. And then... 45 minutes ago, now remember, 45 minutes ago, within the same two hours that this very scary situation that we are not supposed to laugh at happened to his family, and he feels the worst about himself, he hates himself, he doesn't want to over, he doesn't know what he's going to do and all this kind of stuff, and then he's decided that he doesn't hate himself anymore and everything's okay and he wants to pull away, and then what does he do? He posts a picture on Instagram. Well, isn't that interesting? All of this, and then a picture on Instagram. 
I wasn't born yesterday, baby. Okay, and then somebody said, how's your day been? I'm like, uh, are you reading these tweets? How has his day been? Fucking chaotic is how his day's been. He goes, mm, it's been all right, up and down, but I'm good now. <laughs> this is, this is a sh this is literally a shit show. Don't ever come to me again and talk about Amy Slayton. This is a shit show. So then somebody says, bro, you're a warrior to me. You're, Y-O-U-R, and you're pushing me to not give up on my book. I don't even understand that. Ha ha, don't focus on me, man. Educate yourself. And then he says, oh, this is the best, 40 minutes ago, retweet for a DM in 10 minutes. And um, that was 59 people retweeted that for a DM. So apparently all these people want fame. And they say, oh, yay, I'm waiting. My DMs with you are so awkward. They make zero sense. DM me for spicy food, please. Heart, last minute, me, me, me. Oh, I please. Oh, my God, hearts, hearts, please, me. And so what that's basically telling us is the kids all want a piece of Christian Burns, okay? I cannot imagine being part of that life for one hour. That was the breakdown of one hour in the life of Christian Burns. I don't know if that's for attention. I don't know if that's real. I don't know if it's all happening, but that's some scary shit to me. Where are the parents in all of this situation? Like that is the biggest deal to me. Even if it's not the parents, where's the family? Where's the friend? Where's somebody that's saying to him, Christian, if this is not for attention, tell somebody, is it for attention? If it's not for attention, I'm really scared for you because this is crazy town. Christian, I wish you all the best. I hope you get some help. I hope you can go meet with a mental health professional maybe and see if they can say, hey, is there anything I can do for you? Life coach, counselor, I don't know, priest at this point. Somebody, please go talk to somebody. Please talk to a friend. Say, I don't know what I'm doing at this point, but this is not working for me. This is a scary future. I love you guys, um, and I will talk to you later. Bye.